principal investigator of one of the two core organizing projects, the European Origins of Modern Croatia, Vlasta. Do we hear each other? Uh, yes, I can hear you, but I don't know if you can see my presentation. I think I must do it again. Can you see it now? Yes, yes. Okay, then I can start. Please. Uh, more than uh, 180 years after the first two scientific journals were published in Paris and London, the first issue of the Archives of Povisnitsu Yugoslavensku, or Archives for the History of South Slavs, the first scientific journal in Croatia, was printed in 1851. Its 12 volumes were published in the period from 1851 to 1875, mostly in Zagreb, but two volumes were printed in Venice. Those were illustrated volumes. Its editor-in-chief was Ivan Kukuljevic Sapcinski. The journal was dedicated to history, archaeology, and art history of territories inhabited by Croats and other South Slavic nations. The journal had a book format with approximately 300 pages. It was customary practice of the time that scientific societies published journals. So too was the first Croatian scientific journal founded and published by the Society for South Slavic History and Antiquities in Croatian Društvo za Jugoslavensku povisnicu istarine. The society was founded on 1st October 1850 on the initiative of Ivan Kukuljevic Saksinski, who was in 1847 appointed land archivist by the Croatian Parliament. Croatian Van Josip Jelacic was the society's patron. Its work was financially supported by the Ban, the Croatian government, and distinguished individuals. Founding for the activities of the society and publication of the journal was also raised through annual membership fees. The Society for History and Antiquities was founded after the Bounds Council, the first de facto independent Croatian government, operating from May 1848 to June 1850, was dissolved. The council was replaced by the Bounds government that was an extended hand of the government in Vienna. In the spring of 1949, freedom of the press in the heart of monarchy and Croatia was restricted by restrictive press acts, and from mid 1850s onwards, there were clear tendencies resulting in the imminent abolition of the constitution and the establishment of an absolutist system of government. Ruling Austrian circles wished to establish Austrian national history as history of the entire state and all the people under the rule of the House of Habsburg and thus legitimize their government. Contrary to this, initiators of the Society for South Slavic History, who wanted to promote the development of Croatian history as a scholarly discipline, wanted to establish Croatian history as a national science. In other words, to establish its ideological and scientific legitimacy as part of a broader South Slavic framework. In this regard, they carried on the policy of the Croatian national revival from the first half of the 19th century. Those distinguished proponents became members of the society. The society's activities formally ceased in 1878 when the society was transformed into the Croatian Archaeological Society. The chief of the objective of the society, as defined in Article 1 of its rules, was to discover, study, collect, safeguard and publish various historical sources pertaining to the history of our people, that is, of the Croatian people as part of the South Slavic people. Publishing such sources in the society's journal, its founders wanted to lay the foundation of a critically written national history. The first issue of the journal, Archives of Povisnitsu Yugoslavensku, 
published a list of 26 questions directed to friends of South Slavic history and antiquities aimed at finding, preserving, and publishing various written and material sources in the fields of archaeology, history, sacred and profane art creation, folklore, folklore and folk customs. They requested a detailed description of an individual material or written historical source or a discovered archaeological site, as well as the information on the location, material it was made of, as well as its dimensions, author and owner. Subsequently, the questions were supplemented and published twice more. Questions, the society encouraged a broad action of detecting, collecting, and preserving various archaeological and epigraphic sources, in particular coins and artworks. These artifacts were handed over to the National Museum as valuable specimens of national, cultural, and historical heritage to be reserved and analyzed there and their detailed description was published by the Archive Journal. A person who takes most credit for their study and analysis is Mijat Stabljar, a long-standing member of the management of the Society for South Slavic History and the museum manager. A large number of diversified written sources were collected. These were sources of varied provenance, written in Greek, Latin, Croatian, or other Slavic languages. Depending on the language, the sources were written in Greek and al Latin alphabets, as well as in Glagolitic or Cyrillic scripts. The Archive, archive Journal featured scientific or scientific popular pieces of writing from a number of different humanities, such as history, archaeology, art history, ethnology, and history of Croatian literature. Printed were sources of political history, such as charters of various rulers, aristocratic families, documents pertaining to constitutional issues, sources from the history of Croatian Slavonian military frontier, then from legal history, such as statutes of individual cities, church and cultural history, and history of Croatian literature. The printed sources had been collected during study journeys of Ivan Kukuljevic and Mijat Sabja, founded by the society, engaging foreign archivists of the society's own or the society's own members to copy relevant sources in the archives of Vienna, Venice, Rome, and Naples or to carry out research in individual city or church archives and those belonging to aristocratic families. In line with the widespread, widespread belief of time that distinguished individuals are the initiator of historical events, also upheld by Kukuljevic, the journal also featured biographies of distinguished individuals from Croatian political, ecclesiastical, and cultural history. As was usual practice of scientific journals in European countries, the first Croatian scientific journal occasionally published the bibliography of newly published books important for the history of Croats and other Slav South Slavs in varied languages. In addition, a number of geographic and historical descriptions of individual regions was published as well. The archive journal also contained answers to one or more, or more of the questions printed in its very first issue pertaining to discovery and preservation of national, historical, and cultural heritage. These answers were written by members of the Society for South Slavic History from different parts of Croatia, as well as other South Slavic countries. They contain detailed descriptions of various remains of tangible and non-tangible heritage. This refers to archaeological findings, coins, and works of art from various periods, different forms of folk creativity, folk customs, and beliefs stemming from pre-Christian and Christian period. 
Most of the articles published in the Archive Journal were written by Ivan Kukulevich Sinsky. Saksinsky. His picture was uh, previous in the presentation. Among other contributors of scientific papers were Franja Rachki, who was the first Croatian historian by education, the aforementioned Mijat Sablar, as well as other Croatian intellectuals of the time, such as politician and writer Ivan Mazuranic, teacher, ethnologist, and author of books for broad popular readership, Mijat Stojanovic, and politician Ante Starcevic. They published historical sources and less frequently original scientific papers, mostly biographies of prominent individuals. Within only several, several years, the first Croatian scientific journal published a list of ordinary and honorary members of the Society for South Slavic History, as well as foreign scientific and expert institutions with which the society exchanged publications. Their number increased incessantly. From its onset, the society paid great attention to cooperation with related institutions, historical and archaeological societies, academies of science, museums and archives in other provinces of the Habsburg monarchy, in other European countries, especially German-speaking and Scandinavian ones, as well as in Russia. Furthermore, the society exchanged publications within the Smithsonian institutions from the USA and since 1854 with all Croatian gymnasiums. Famous foreign historians, archivists, archaeologists, ethnologists, scientists of other professions and writers were among the society's honorary members, such as Josef Kmel, Václav Hanka, Pavel Josef Šafažik, František Palacki, Josef Hanner Pukštal, Ismail Srezniewski, Robert Citrian, and brothers Jakob and Wilhelm Grimm. They would receive copies of the archive journal and send their own publications to Zagreb. The journal could be purchased by members of the society at, at half price, and their number was uh, 258 in 1851 and 396 six years later, together with 51 honorary members. The strongest groups among the society's members were civil servants, priests, army officers, writers, physicians, merchants, and nobility, and among them were readers of the archive. The journal was also read in reading rooms in Croatia, and probably by some of the members of the related institutions with which publications were exchanged. Papers were written mostly in Latin and Croatian, and thus could be read by members of the educated classes in Croatia who mastered both languages. Archive was a journal intended not just for scientists and scholars, but rather for a broader educated readership interested in Croatian or South Slavic national history and cultural heritage. Despite the fact that the journal did not strictly critically review sources, and ascertain their credibility, it nevertheless assembled prominent intellectuals as well as young people, some of whom became professional historians. The journal gave a significant contribution to the development of historical si historic science in Croatia and roused interest in cultural history. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Vlasta, for your insight into both production and circulation of knowledge in the uh, field of humanities when they were forming in Croatia. Uh, now to move on, uh, we have the next lecture by Philip Hameshak, uh, who is an investigator from the Croatian bibliographic uh, lex uh, from the Miroslav Krleža Lexicographic Institute. Sorry. Uh, Philip, can we hear each other? 
Hey, uh, hello to everyone. Uh, is the sound uh, all right? Uh, you, you hear me, oh, yes. I presume. Okay. Then uh, uh, I think that uh, in the past presentations, uh, all the main points concerning uh, the relations, general relationships uh, between uh, the circulation of knowledge, the dissemination of knowledge and uh, identity issues has, has been already mentioned. And also these concepts like nation building, uh, state building, uh, standardization of language, uh, standardization of common literature, uh, and so on uh, has been touched on uh, enough. Therefore, I will only uh, present uh, the main uh, key points in the, uh, this uh, flow of encyclopedias and lexicons in Croatia since uh, 19th century. Of course, uh, if uh, uh, language uh, or vocabulary type uh, dictionaries uh, are concerned, uh, their tradition is much older, uh, almost uh, uh, certainly to the uh, 16th century in Croatia and even in some cases to the 15th century. But uh, as far as encyclopedias and lexicons, which were uh, uh, gaining uh, prominence uh, in the central states of Europe, or uh, Europe already in 18th century, in Croatia, uh, whether we call it periphery or semi-periphery, only uh, mid uh, 19th century is the starting point. Now, uh, Vlasta has already uh, mentioned the importance of this emer emerging uh, uh, let's say, non-government organizations uh, and societies, and also mid-19th century is also important, of course, because of the more institutionalized, institutionalized uh, state-sponsored uh, 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 institutions like university or Croatian uh, Yugoslav uh, Academy. Uh, now, uh, I would like to share my screen uh, with you. Uh, okay. You see it? Yes. Okay. Now, all, although uh, the ideas of uh, Croatian encyclopedia uh, started already in mid-19th uh, century, it was only in 1880s that uh, two gymnasium or high school professors in Osijek, the, that is a town in Eastern Croatia, uh, decided uh, to try to make an encyclopedia. It was uh, therefore a completely private uh, project sponsored uh, only with sub subscribers and expectedly it uh, failed uh, uh, after two volumes uh, reaching only letter uh, G. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, it was called Hrvatska or Croatian Encyclopedia, but it was in fact a general type universal encyclopedia. And uh, the authors uh, are to be credited in managing to acquire several uh, notable contribu contributors from all parts of uh, Croatia, Slavonia, and even uh, Dalmatia like uh, perhaps uh, the, the most uh, renowned uh, uh, Spiridon uh, Brusina uh, biologist. And uh, politically uh, speaking, the encyclopedia promoted uh, the view of uh, a triune kingdom of um, uh, Croatia, Slavonia and Dalmatia uh, as, a, uh, as a virtual uh, unity. Now, uh, and that encyclopedia is in Croatian, a general type. Now we have another uh, interesting uh, volume, uh, but it was never published in Croatian, only in German and in uh, Hungarian. It was uh, part of the large series uh, of the Esterreich Ungarische Monarchie in Word und Bild. And as the last volume in that series in uh, 1901 and 1902, uh, a volume uh, on uh, Croatia and Slavonia was published. 
it is interesting that uh, its editor was uh, Isidor Kršnjavi, the former Croatian uh, Minister of uh, Culture and Education, and that he managed uh, to promote, uh, let's say, a Croatian uh, interpretation of the uh, constitutional um, uh, status of Croatia and Slavonia, treating it uh, not as a part of Hungary, uh, but uh, as a, a part of the lands of the Saint Stephen, uh, of the crown of Saint, Ste uh, Saint Stephen, or uh, in fact as an equal uh, sister uh, state of Hungary, which was also uh, promoted uh, with this initial uh, picture. Uh, Kršnjavi managed to uh, uh, to, to uh, let uh, some of the most prominent uh, Croatian artists and scholars sp to speak uh, in this volume, and uh, his views on the uh, medieval Croatian history, on the uh, free uh, election of Habsburg dynasty were also present uh, in this volume. However, because uh, this volume was never printed in Croatian and it was uh, uh, after all, um, leg legitimistic uh, uh, pertaining to the Habsburg dynasty. After 1918, it was uh, uh, it was thrown uh, practically into oblivion. Now uh, we come to the uh, late 19th century. Uh, it, there was a strong uh, pedagogical society in Croatia and it uh, started a multi-volume project of pedagogical pedagogic, 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 encyclopedia of pedagogy, uh, which was uh, very wide uh, concerning uh, not only um, uh, social uh, sciences and humanities, but also uh, natural sciences. And you can see even the notions like evolution were treated here. And of course, it was uh, at that time a part of wider, wider uh, social struggles with, on the character of education, uh, whether it should be uh, uh, how would a secularized education uh, be connected uh, to other religious issues. Uh, this encyclopedia managed to get to uh, letter P and was uh, uh, the work was abolished uh, on, uh, during the World War. Uh, perhaps as a, as, a, as a response to it, uh, the, um, before the First World War, there were also plans to start a Croatian Catholic encyclopedia, but they were never realized. After the Yugoslav unification, we have a uh, first uh, national encyclopedia, national type encyclopedia that was uh, finished, uh, four volumes of it uh, during uh, 1920s. It was a Zagreb based project uh, uh, led by a joint stock company with uh, allegedly uh, more than 10,000 uh, subscribers. Uh, but uh, the editor-in-chief was a renowned Serbian historian from Belgrade. Uh, this encyclopedia is interesting uh, concerning uh, that uh, some of the controversial themes uh, were uh, very uh, rather objectively uh, treated, but also uh, it was uh, controversial for the part of the Croatian intellectuals uh, should they participate at all. So uh, many of the teams, after all, were not treated or uh, were treated uh, only from the Serbian point of view or, uh, or uh, even left to be uh, treated in the supplement, uh, which was never, uh, uh, which was never uh, uh, started. Also, the work was uh, rather hurried and hectic and, hectic, and you can see here that the same person was uh, uh, treated in two different uh, volumes. Uh, the first uh, biographical dictionaries uh, in Croatian are the, uh, the first modern uh, dictionaries are the ones already in mid-19th uh, century by Shima Ljubic 
and Ivan Kukuljevic. And this is the late uh, 19th century edition on the left and the most encompassing uh, uh, edition of 1925. There was, of course, uh, some questions uh, how to include uh, Bosnian history and Bosnian Muslims uh, in the Croatian uh, corpus, uh, because at the time uh, Croatian ident uh, national identity was more, more prominent among uh, Bosnian uh, Muslims uh, than today. Uh, however, uh, first uh, one volume uh, general type lexicon uh, was printed in mid-1930s uh, in Zagreb, and at that time uh, uh, it was a completely separate uh, project from the uh, Serbian uh, first general type lexicon that was printed practically the same year in uh, Belgrade. Now, uh, Mate Ujevic in the late, uh, night, uh, late uh, 1930s was the real promoter of the first uh, uh, serious uh, general type encyclopedia uh, in Croatia. Uh, however, uh, this started as a private uh, enterprise, was soon appropriated by the newly established uh, Banovina Hrvatska, and then by the uh, uh, Croatian Bibliographic uh, Institute uh, that was uh, uh, like a state uh, enterprise of the independent state of, of Croatia. However, uh, in spite of this uh, uh, ideological uh, context, uh, this encyclopedia managed uh, to uh, to stay out of politics uh, for uh, most of the, uh, most of the text, and even it uh, included uh, some kind of criticism towards the author authoritarian state theories, and in fact promoted not only objective approach to uh, people like Winston Churchill, but also uh, some uh, uh, general treatises on the rule of law and consti consti constitutionalism. Uh, it also promoted a kind of uh, uh, sea orientation of Croatia, which was then uh, its, its uh, coastal part was then uh, occupied uh, by Italy. Uh, at the same time, uh, a national type encyclopedia, uh, which was started earlier uh, in Matrix uh, Croatia, uh, was uh, printed, but it was printed uh, not by Matrix Croatia, but by the Ustasha organization headquarters, and uh, therefore it had uh, um, a more uh, more uh, ideological bias um, concerning uh, the contemporary history was much more present, but as a whole, uh, this edition also contained uh, valuable uh, information. However, all these projects uh, were uh, uh, um, uh, were uh, uh, stopped uh, in 1945 with the uh, uh, communist uh, takeover of government. And it was only in uh, 1950 that the new lexicographic institute in Zagreb was founded. Uh, his head, uh, its head was Miroslav uh, Krleža, a renowned uh, Croatian uh, writer. And this aforementioned Ujevic was his, uh, his deputy. Uh, and this, uh, of course, uh, the institute was uh, uh, had to uh, work in the uh, uh, society ruled by the Communist Party. Kleža himself was an organized uh, uh, communist, uh, but the outcome, the output of the institute uh, was, uh, was uh, Marxist uh, in, uh, in some fields, uh, uh, social sciences for the most, and also in the, some humanities. But as a whole, uh, uh, the outcome was very uh, 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 contributing to the general standard of, of knowledge. And in fact, many of the intellectual, intellectual non-communist, non-Marxist intellectuals uh, continued to write uh, for these uh, editions. Uh, perhaps the most uh, 
uh, interesting uh, uh, project was the Encyclopedia Yugoslavia, Encyclopedia of Yugoslavia, but because it was uh, it was very complex and reflected all the uh, structure of republics and autonomous uh, provinces, and uh, in fact. Uh, was uh, the, uh, the internal divisions uh, reflected all the divisions in the Yugoslav uh, society at that uh, time. I see that uh, my time uh, uh, is up. Uh, there were also two editions uh, in early uh, 1890s that were criti criticized uh, for the most part concerning questions of Croatian uh, national identity. But uh, I hope that uh, some other time I, I will uh, I will uh, I will be able to explain it uh, further. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. We also hope to hear more uh, at another point on development of encyclopedic knowledge in Croatia. Thank you. And now uh, we, uh, according to schedule, we would skip to colleague Jay Kooset, who unfortunately for unexpected obligations he had to attend to, had to excuse himself from his lecture. And therefore we will skip uh, to uh, the next lecture by Marina Protekaštimets. Do we hear each other? Marina. Okay, seems that she is not here at the moment. I will call her. Please, Vlasta, if you could do so. Hi. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry for waiting. I was uh, five minutes away from the screen, and I didn't know that uh, the previous talk uh, will, will be, will, uh, won't come. So I can start now. Yes, please. It's a, it's okay. You can you can give your lecture now. Okay, thank you. I will share a screen. Uh, just a second. So my theme is uh, considering a concept of authorship uh, at the turn of 20th century, especially considering uh, two figures of authorship, genius and bohemian. At first, I will give just a few remarks considering authorship as a, as a, a historical phenomenon throughout uh, cultural and uh, literary history. Hi, uh, history. Uh, the phenomena that maintain, maintains its original meaning of an originator, creator, or authority approving of something, or something that was made or written. In some languages, we can see that uh, there is a clear difference between author in the older sense of world 
such as the German Ur Heber, and the literary author, uh, who is a writer, a clever schriftsteller, scriptorian, epistle, etc., author. Uh, what was uh, what is my principal interest in this paper is to determine um, moments in history where this crucial uh, where, where, where crucial change has made, uh, and that is uh, late nineteenth and early twentieth century. Earlier in history, the Roman period in the Roman period, the writer was uh, only a scribe. Uh, and then, following Greek name poeta, uh, meaning maker, creator, in artistic sense of um, at first, but uh, uh, the sense that is already charged with religious religious undertone. The idea of sanctified author is captured in the notion of poeta vates, uh, or held um, of prophecy encountered in Roman divination practice. He is a seer who has privileged access to truth and gods by way of their and muses inspiration. As an author, author, he is described as someone possessing autoritas, watching for the truth of an object, a person that sanctions, approves, and authenticate, authentic, authenticate. However, in these earlier peri periods, this kind of authentication or main guarantee of truth was, according to Foucault, usual in natural sciences, but not in literature. This and this completely changed in modern episteme, as he calls it. In this quote here, we can see that this change took time in uh, 17,000. 17, uh, this complete change of authentication in literary field occurred with modernist, for him, humanist episteme, which also changed, changed the understanding of creativity and individuality and connected authorship with subjectivity. In the Romanticism, we can see that this, uh, this form uh, is considered, um, the, the main form that is considered to be a genuine art is poetry, and the true poet was understood to be a genius or sage. This genius discourse spread in Europe around 18,000. Um, this genius usually imagined in masculine form as a father, a divine creator who creates his work of art not but imitation, but rather, but rather innovation. According to Kant, the genius is exemplary originality in, of natural endowments of an individual in the free employment of his cognitive faculty, uh, faculties. Like forces of nature, he creates from within self, not by following rules of aesthetic, but rather making them for the others. This autogenius meditates between celestial and human area, similar to the Roman period, but with uh, some other modes like national representativity, etc. And he is also encouraging other geniuses to create exceptional work of art. Here at this uh, picture, we can see um, uh, Lacha Bukovac's canvas uh, from late uh, 18th century. Um, uh, at this picture, we are seeing representing um, Croatian, uh, you can see the uh, first Croatian canon as author, Ivan Gundovic. Uh, that was old, uh, author for all the uh, times from history. Canon as a national poet, uh, imagined as a representative national national writer who is, uh, whose work was discovered from the ashes of history and whose work 
and whose personality is symbolized in a new perspective for the uh, young uh, rising nation uh, that, um, that is emancipatory uh, for its historical root. Here we can see him enthroned as a people's king poet, as he is presented by Bukovac. He is called uh, in writings of that time as a classical writer, Illyrian, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. He is uh, the one who demonstrates the greatness and eternity of human spirit over coming ages. The whole process of his canonization and collective identification with his, with his work and his person uh, throughout the 19th century follows a recognizable pattern of creating an empowering usable past, as Smith calls it. The past that gathers precious symbolic value image imagined as a development following a linear progressive historical line. Great authors at that time were presented as a valuable part of glorious past, which, which is, um, which altogether has to be present in a concrete everyday life through different symbolic practices, uh, beliefs, and emotions created uh, that that creates a politics of remembering. That politics of remembering is always bodily perceived and absorbed. Similar to that, authorship, uh, the historical of uh, 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 that contemporary of that time, closely relates authors' lives to their work, making them closely connected, perceived, and valued. And that is, that is for some, uh, what is new in the 19th century. The author as discourser function of the text, so should be here, as Svetlana Bohm already mentioned, analyzed in neutral relationship with his social and cultural production. Authorship, therefore, relies on textual, bodily, integrated practices that are produced and received as a part of a broader dynamic in the field of culture, as Bourdieu showed. Romanticism, as Bohm suggests, start with the con consciousness work of self-stylation, self cultivating a limited repertoire of stock characters from Byronic, uh, demonic, uh, Byronesque to a melancholic sensitive man, and also create new iconography, a new repertoire of images that uh, connect life and art explicitly. And, that, and, and we can see that uh, in Friedrich Schiller aesthetic letters and also uh, in Schlegel's work, especially in this quote from, from his Athenaeum fragment. Um, what is point of that quote and or, or what I already mentioned is that romanticism closely connects our author's life his representativity and his representativity of his work. In creation of, um, but at the late of my, at the late of 19th century, in creation of uh, uh, other literatures even uh, earlier, we can see that this um, uh, this kind of representativeness is losing its its uh, age, and uh, in creation literature we can see. Uh, uh, Different types of different types of changing this. Um, I, uh, I have so few examples, but I will not go further uh, here because of lacking of times. But one of them is Krantjevich uh, poem Moses that depicts biblical prophet who be becomes victim of his own beliefs and clashes with the low-minded masses that fail to understand him. The rise of masses, capitalism, technological uh, shift changed the situation. So we, we have uh, here that this development of technology uh, and, and the rise of masses creates something that is uh, permanently, that, uh, some change that permanently affected figure of author also. Uh, as um, Svetlana Bohm uh, shows, this development uh, uh, lead to uh, um, 
to the situation that Poet became an almost anachronic, anachronic figure, an alienated martyr of writing and a political dandy or an antisocial boy. So that figure of boy is what uh, uh, what my point here today. That uh, that uh, figure of boy and uh, imagination of Bohemia as some imagined land. Uh, show that uh, in this time we can see that uh, something what uh, Romanticism did, uh, modernism and avant-garde change further. Uh, uh, Bohemian also merge life and um, and and art, like um, like we can see we, we, we saw earlier. But uh, we had uh, now authors lost uh, lose their ability or wish to speak from imagined top or center uh, of community. Economically deprived, they also uh, ceased to advocate universal or eternal truths. So unlike the poet of artists or national barge, the modern author is on his way to become outcast, poet modit, like Baudelaire, uh, Verlaine, Mallarmé, searching for his authentic artistic existence. Authenticity and modernity is something which is uh, a key, what are key words for this uh, new, new type of author. In Croatian literature, we can see it uh, in two examples today. One is Anton Gustav Matos and younger, uh, the other, Augustin Ulrich, later called Tim. They are differing from acting and writing in public and in front of official policy, politics and declared social values. They, both of them uh, present themselves as individuals. Both uh, also are recognized as an inventory of cafes and loud bohemian groups. Their public appearance was subversive at least on three levels. First is political. Matos was a deserter from army and fugitive. Ulevich was a member and collaborator of young national movements that, 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 uh, that had um, some, uh, some real um, political acts. One of them is mentioned earlier today, Luka Jukic. Several times Ulevich for that was in jail. Social, the uh, Matos and his disciples, which himself and uh, with his fellow uh, artists, were uh, allowed and seen uh, at cafes, at street, uh, and they also uh, disturbed and scandalized citizens. Which also scandalized in Belgrade Yugoslav royal family, so they deported him from Belgrade because of that. And third. Uh, um, element of the subversion is uh, the most the most uh, precious, precious one is the static, uh, and that that means they took um, formal and thematic changes in their work, and they made explicit statements in their work about heritage norms and goals in culture and literature. Both of them, especially which was known uh, in public as King of Bohemians, considered Bohemia as a social, common social phenomena, uh, which also stressed his, its economical background, referring to its political potential for reframing the prevailing trend of technologization and mercantilization of art. Both of them spent years of their younger, uh, uh, of their youth living in Bohemia, Paris. Uh, Matos said that he was happier hungry in, as a hungry man in Paris than, than uh, with full belly in Zagreb. He, uh, we said that he's, he felt uh, home at home in Paris as if, if he was born there. For Matos, Bohemia is a worldwide phenomena, a part of Western cultural history. In Croatia, the history of, of Bohemia, says Matos, is a history of our literature. For Ulrich, Bohemians are no social class because 
they are declassified. There are spiritual avant-garde and workers who treat substance, uh, who, who, uh, who treat material, he says, data, experience, and knowledge. Explaining that, he clearly points false bohemians, lazy individuals, copycats and parasites on the body of common economy, as he says, distinguishing them from real workers who are engaged and agile in arts and literature. So their work is a mode of resistance. It is defense in the spirit and its protection for, from industrialization and commodity fetishism. So I will here stop. My conclusion goes further, uh, uh, putting the, together their work and their, um, and their uh, public appearance, uh, following three levels of, uh, of authorship that is mutually connected in their art. Uh, that is um, a level that we can see it interpreting their works and seeing them as a, as a cultural phenomena that, uh, that is already, um, already made by themselves also and by the cultural field of that, that time. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Thank you, Marina. Uh, I will now open the board for discussion. Uh, so, is there anyone who would like to pose a question or comment? Well, if not, I would just like to ask uh philip amashak uh about that album of kratz uh album zasluženi hrvata uh, of the 19th century or yes yes okay. uh the just the the editors in chief or the editor in chief uh, who were they just uh, just to see the, the the way they thought about who was uh the one to to get into the, the the album itself okay so it was in fact uh a work uh by a, a single man uh newspaper man and publicist uh, milan grlovic who of course uh, started the work on, on such uh, biographical portraits uh, years ago before publishing and he was a very good stylist and uh, um, I think he managed to, to give a wide um, overview of these uh, biographies and he was uh, in fact uh, even to a, uh, he was uh, uh, of course there were errors but this is the uh, late uh, 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 19th century and he was out of uh, out of means of research we have today, but uh, he managed to, to present this uh, complex uh, picture of Croatian uh, political life of 19th century rather neutrally and interesting. So uh, perhaps the model for, for this thesis is if we compare the biographies of Bishop Strossmayer and politician Ante Starcevic. Uh, we can see there that uh, Gerlovich managed to present uh, both uh, these persons uh, without uh, bias and in fact in a synthetic uh, manner. Also, uh, he managed to treat uh, equally uh, the uh, Eugene Eugen Kvaternik, who was in fact uh, uh, shot as a rebel against Habsburg authorities uh, uh 20 years uh, before so it was uh, clearly uh, possibly a hot very hot team uh, but he managed to give the biography of quaternik which is uh, even for today's standard rather rather satisfying uh, i mean uh, if uh, if we compare uh, that standard to some other uh, um, encyclopedias uh, during uh, 20th century when the censorship and influence of state and uh, ideology was was uh, higher uh, then we can say that uh, 
it, perhaps this was the last time there were free free a kind of free public uh, in Cro independent public in Croatia that could uh, uh, write critically but not to um, um, uh, find a, a right mode between uh, romanticism and criticism and uh, uh, and, and made a, a model text uh, um, um, without I, I don't uh, it is interesting how uh, Gorlovich managed to escape from a possible controversies mm -hmm. and in fact give a satisfying overview. Uh, he even, he even uh, uh, managed to find some women, uh, although it is uh, the title is uh, Croatians, but also some Croatian uh, notable mm -hmm. women were, were in there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we, we have a question from uh, Veronica Novoselic, who is uh, unfortunately unable to, to get involved uh, into the conversation, but I will read out loud uh, what uh, she has a question for uh, Professor Schwager. So I'll read it out loud so you don't have to read it all. So here comes. Today, the media representation of science in Croatian daily newspapers over the years suggest that science, the work of scientists, new research and discoveries still have a lower social value and media importance. In addition to scientific journals and newspapers, other sources of information of semi-scientific nature are also mentioned. Did the archive, archive uh, like others of the first scientific journals contain data on agriculture and animal husbandry, parts of popular uh, almanacs or calendars or some news of the achievement of other European scientists at the time. Also, was the, was the Archive just the journal des Havans in Paris in uh, 60, 65, 1665, a model and impetus for other journals of this type at the, in the Balkan Peninsula? Thank you. Uh, thank you and all praise to all at the very interesting and instructive presentations. So Vlasta, can you address this question? Uh, yes, um, I will answer. Um, first of all, um, I uh, can say that uh, the archive um, did not uh, contain data on agriculture and animal husbandry or some sort of popular almanacs or calendars, uh, because this was um, the journal, this was dedicated to history, art history, popular uh, popular culture, folklore, and beliefs. Uh, in some part of, um, in the main questions and answers on that questions uh, that was printed in the first uh, issue, uh, some authors um, did mention uh, some um, customs uh, related to uh, agriculture, um, related to some uh, specific data, uh, but uh, that's all. Uh, on the second uh, question, was the archive, archive uh, a model for other journals of this type on the, at the Balkan Pen Peninsula? Um, I can't answer because uh, I haven't researched uh, that, uh, my, that journals. So uh, I can say only uh, that um, this creation, the first creation article, um, they published uh, in the question was uh, that uh, if there was some uh, news of the achievements to other European scientists of, uh, at the time, uh, that uh, is partly, uh, that this question can be partly answered by yes, but uh, only if this, um, achievement was uh, related to the history of uh, Croatian or other Slavic, South Slavic people. Uh, in, and that is uh, in the mentioned bibliography. Um, this was published not in, in, um, uh, in some issues, not in uh, everyone. Uh, and uh, in this uh, bibliography, there were mentioned uh, also uh, works of um, foreign uh, historian, archaeologist, and ethnologist, and uh, archivist. Uh, if they uh, 
uh, write something about creation or history or self-love, of, of, of other self-love. Okay. Thank you, Lasta. Any further remarks, perhaps? Someone wants to join the discussion? If not, then uh, we are actually half an hour early due to uh, the one one skip presentation. Oh, and uh, and Marina. Okay, uh, first <laughs> Philip, I think. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, I, well, perhaps this is not a que question, just a, a constatation uh, uh, regarding the presentations of Lasta and Marina. Uh, it is interesting uh, for me to note like these early pioneers uh, where um, they had a sense of mission, like Kukuljevic and Rajki, uh, perhaps similar to that, uh, I mean, not similar, parallel to the notion of the author as a genius, as a, as a, as a person delegated uh, by community or, or by some uh, even higher force to improve uh, uh, that uh, community. And it is also uh, a mentality that was among encyclopedians present uh, <laughs> even in the mid 20th century, if we see Krleža or, or Mate Ujevic. But of course, uh, uh, in all the fields, fields, this uh, notion that this is just a job is nowadays uh, more, more, uh, more wider, more, more uh, prominent uh, than than before. So it would be interesting to think about the reasons for this process, from genius uh, to uh, to uh, professional, or from genius even to bohemian. Uh, is it uh, characteristics of the old uh, of, of of all the fields of the let's say Western civilizations, of only or or, or not? I mean, uh, if we, if we see literature, uh, well, uh, Bohemians are uh, most uh, 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 we think uh, primarily about poets. We don't think about novelists. I mm -hmm. mean, Thomas Mann or or Aldous Huxley are not um, Bohemians. Mm -hmm. uh, they are perhaps more. They they have stayed uh, closer to the notion of genius. Uh, even Krleža, although his life was to a degree, could be <laughs> at least for the first half of his life called called uh, Bohemian was also, in fact, uh, a more uh, ambitious uh, writer, also also close that, to that notion of a, a chronic um, chronicist of a society. And uh, even today, uh, uh, if, we, if we see the treatment of literature in media, some of the writers, uh, even poets, and even the Bohemians are asked uh, uh, to comment on the social and political affairs uh, as if uh, they're a kind of prophet. I mean, the, this uh, this type of public intellectual is not reserved only for uh, people that are educated in it at least uh, some, some field uh, close to this, but also to these uh, bohemian, bohemian writers. Okay, then I can I can shortly shortly answer. The several uh, remarks uh, that Philip mentioned they are all interesting for me. Um, there wasn't any question, real real question. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, well, there are, as Ulrich said, true and false Bohemia. He uh, he he was very. Uh, dedicated to to his uh, uh, something that he called pure art, and he connected uh, pure art with real Bohemia as uh, as a defense of that uh, spirit and art, as, and uh, protection from industry ma mass 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 um, 
uh, what he said, he, he really uh, used um, uh, Marx, um, uh, Marx sentences about commodity fetishism, and, and he really wrote uh, texts and texts about economy. Uh, we, now, a popular picture of Uyevich is not uh, a universal man as uh, Kralija, um, for example, but he, he was really universal man, meaning, uh, meaning his education, his interests, translations, uh, his texts, and his research in, in different area of, uh, I, I would say, the humanities. So um, I think Bohemia uh, become uh, some kind of... Uh, um, some kind of uh, picture of author that survived years and become something um, as a popular icon uh, without uh, today without um, uh, any real uh, subject in it. Like it's uh, like it's only 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 Potem King's village without without anything anything clear about it, about it uh, um, in our time. Earlier, uh, we can see, we can talk about it uh, differently. Um, and I will also, um, I will also um, say about this earlier peri periods, uh, uh, what what was uh, what was the uh, um, theme of Vlasta's paper. Um, uh, there are also different different kind of uh, um, authors in that time. Uh, who um, participated in something what was of national value, but they um, in the 19th century they they really um, um, uh, put on the throne of people who were um, who, who tried to write. They they sh they didn't all um, uh, participate in some gr uh, pure art as we would call it, but. Um, it was something that was appreciated mostly, uh, uh, especially poetry. Poetry was the highest of of all of all genres, literary genres of that time. Uh, I would also appreciate what uh, uh, that last took archive and uh, this team uh, for for, his, for for her paper. Uh, I think it's really important to see uh, um, that uh, 19th century uh, uh, gave us um, uh, really a huge material uh, in, in, in um, magazines and in periodicals. Uh, for me, it was revealing um, reading um, different uh, literary magazines of that time, and uh, consider, uh, and I will uh, refer to that question that we have here. Uh, we have uh, in Croatian literature. Uh, uh, I, I think uh, you know you are familiar with that. We have um, uh, journals as Zora, Dalmatinska Dom, Donation Dom, Danica. Um, uh, and some other popular journals that had um, uh, 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 different uh, uh, kind of data of agriculture and all these, all these uh, that uh, we have in this question, all the all this area considering household, uh, and this this type of writing uh, that uh, mix different sorts of uh, human uh, human area ec economics and literature and history and uh, and and, and uh, some kind of uh, uh, jokes or or, or, or or material for fun uh, are common to uh, journals at um, at the half or uh, around half of 19th century uh, and later uh, when we have archive we have also uh, that is special uh, specialized for history and and that uh, and uh, and have science uh, scientific uh, uh, methods in it. Uh, we have also real cultural and literary magazine Viennets, who clearly distinguish uh, literature from history, literature from economics and and other types of human. Or humanistics, I would say. So uh, uh, I, I would really say that 
uh, at the end of 19th century, we have different fields of humanities clearly distinct in, in, uh, in periodicals. We can see that history is uh, making it, its own field, literature is making its own field. Uh, we also can see that uh, some of uh, ethnology or other disciplines that, were, that will come here also um, also have its own a special uh, special uh, area of of uh, making it making itself uh, and making itself special field. Uh, it's not a question again, but only maybe maybe answer to that uh, question that was written earlier. Uh, can I add something? Uh, uh, the first uh, journal, of, or better say, better say, newspaper, uh, who had, uh, in the creation history of newspapers, uh, who which was addressed to common people or to peasants, uh, was Prijatelj uh, Puka. This was um, the newspaper which was published in. Uh, Revolutionary year, revolutionary year um, 1848 uh, as a, a special part of uh, journal Slavenski Jug. Uh, and this Prijatelj uh, Puka, as a friend of the people of the folk, uh, was, uh, was dedicated to the peasants and uh, it uh, was in this uh, journal or in this newspaper, um, the authors uh, were trying uh, to explain um, not only uh, agriculture question or uh, question related to animal husbandry or something else, but also uh, polit uh, the actual political questions uh, to uh, non uh, to illiterally uh, people of Croatia, but uh, this uh, newspaper was not successful, and uh, it was printed only uh, for um, four months in 1848. And later, uh, uh, the journal, uh, which was uh, dedicated to um, uh, problems of agriculture and the similar was Gospodarski list, uh, economic pay newspaper, which was published by uh, Croatian Hrvatsko uh, Gospodarsko Družba, Croatian Economical Society, which was founded in uh, 1841. Philip has a question. Yes, um, the mo most uh, these magazines and newspapers were for, were for the most part uh, privately financed. They had su subscribers and they have they didn't receive any uh, dotation from the state authorities. How about the archive? Was it uh, the same or did the uh, historian society uh, had some dotations from the state? Um, at first, uh, the society uh, get, uh, became uh, dotations from the uh, from the, from the state. Um, uh, the fact is that the Croatian uh, uh, government, the first independent Croatian government, government bond council, um, dedicated uh, five hundred florins. Uh, to the society, uh, meaning uh, to publish the archive, or, or the, that means uh, the journal of the society. Uh, but later, um, that was uh, not the case uh, so much, so that uh, the journal was uh, founded by the membership fees or by uh, foundations of uh, uh, some uh, individuals intellectuals or nobility or, for example, uh, merchants or so on. 
Okay, uh, it was, uh, uh, I said that uh, Matevojevic's which Croatian encyclopedia was uh, subsidized by Banovina Hrvatska, uh, but uh, uh, only a small amount of money was uh, subs subsidized directly. There was another way, all the state uh, employees uh, were given a kind of circular note that every uh, every uh, conscious uh, employee uh, should uh, uh, be a subscriber of, of Croatian Encyclopedia. So that was a kind of uh, a state, uh, state subsidized uh, promotion of encyclopedics. Hey, uh, Marina, did you did you address the question you had previously? Uh, you, uh, I think you raised your hand previously before uh, before uh, Philip posed the question. Would you like to address that now? That, that was my my answer to to written question and a comment to Philip's uh, remarks about Vasta in my paper. Okay. okay, so that was addressed. Um, uh, are there any other remarks, comments, questions? Well, if not, then we are spot on time. If we had the missed uh, lecture. Uh, we will not move it, uh, move the, the pause any further, uh, any any sooner. So the the sixth panel will start at uh, at two p.m. So take your break, enjoy it, and I will see you in an hour and fifteen minutes. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye. Bye.